Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Rubel Solution. In this video we are going to discuss lesson 8 of class 5. Lesson A of class 5 is slide organization in impress. Students, अभी हमने पढ़ा था कि लिब्रे ऑफिस इंप्रेस क्या है लिब्रे ऑफिस का पार्ट है इंप्रेस आज हम पढ़ेंगे ये एक प्रेजेंटेशन की तरह होता है आज हम पढ़ेंगे अप्लाइंग अ स्लाइड लेआउट एडिटिंग एंड मूविंग टेक्स्ट कॉपिंग टेक्स्ट रीअरेंजिंग स्लाइड्स इन द स्लाइड स्पैन रीअरेंजिंग स्लाइड्स इन द स्लाइड सॉर्ट ऑफ व्यू यूजिंग फॉन्ट वर्क गैलरी इंसर्टिंग शेप्स इन द स्लाइड rotating a picture, shape, text or object, resizing a picture, shape, text or object. Although impress templates provide impressive pre-designed pre -designed slides, yet you may need to make changes in your presentation. Editing a slide involves adding a new slide, deleting a slide, rearranging slide, changing backgrounds, changing layouts, inserting text box, etc. Even contents of the existing slides can also be changed. जैसे कि impress में काफी templates पहले से ही होते हैं, लेकिन फिर भी हमको हमारी slides में कई changes करने होते हैं, जैसे नई slide बनानी होती है, delete करनी होती है कोई slide, कोई backgrounds change करने होते हैं, कोई layouts change करने होते हैं, और बहुत से काम करने होते हैं। Applying a slide layout. Slide layout refers to the way things are arranged on a slide. A layout contains placeholders which hold text, titles, bullet list, and slide content, such as tables, charts, images, and movies. Each time you insert a new slide. You can choose a layout that matches your requirement. You can also change the layout of existing slide. The layout can be modified either in normal view or slide sorter view. To apply a new slide layout, we need to follow, follow the given step. Subse pehle select the slide from the slide pen. Subse pehle slide ko select kijiye. Choose the desired layout in the side bar. एक desired layout को select कीजिए, choose कीजिए, and on the standard toolbar, select the suitable layout from the drop down menu. एक अच्छा सा suitable layout drop down menu से देखिए, observe the change in existing slide और existing slide में change देखिए. ऐसे आप कर सकते हैं applying a slide layout. Now comes the editing text. It is important to know how to perform basic tasks with text while working in Impress. The text you type in the placeholder such as title, subtitle can be modified either in normal view or outline view. Open the slide in the normal view in which you want to edit the text. Click on the text placeholder. Place the cursor at that point where you want to edit the text. Now make the required changes in the text. After editing the text, click on the save button on the standard toolbar to save the changes. Now come the moving text. In presentation, you can move the text objects from one place to another either on the same slide or between the different slides. Follow these steps to move an object. Select the text, click on the cut button or use Ctrl X key combination. The object disappears from the slide and is placed on the clipboard. Place the cursor at the point where you want to text to appear. Click on the paste button. Use Ctrl V combination key. The selected object will appear at the cursor position. To move text placeholder to another position, click on its border. Place the pointer on the border. The pointer changes to a hand shape. Click on the border and drag the mouse in the direction where you want to place the text. Now comes the copying text. 
you can copy the object anywhere on the slide either between the slides or from one presentation file another this feature helps in reducing time and efforts of a user the copy feature is similar to the feature except that it copies the object and does not remove the object from its original location select the object click on the copy button present on the standard toolbar or use control plus c key combination a copy of a selected object is placed on the clipboard place the cursor at the position where you want to paste click on the place button and on the standard toolbar or press control plus v basically humne abhi tak ye padha hai ki jo bhi cheez hame copy karni hai ya cut karni hai to pehle usko control c se copy kariye uske baad control v se paste kariye deleting text to delete a text from a slide without deleting the slide follow these steps select the text object that you want to delete the border appears around the text place holder press the delete key the selected text object will be deleted inserting text box using the text tool sometimes you may want to add more text then the area provided for entering text the text tool present on the drawing toolbar gives the facility to add additional text to your slide text box is a place holder where you can enter and manipulate text you can move the text box along with its contents anywhere on the slides enter the title activities of the month as shown in figure 8.5 Now click the text tool or press F2 button the pointer changes into a plus sign drag it on the slide to create a text box release the mouse when you have drawn the text box you will find a blinking cursor inside the text box enter the, enter the text as shown in figure 8.5 If the text is long it automatically adjust and shift the text to the next line keeping the text box width in the view rearranging slides in the slide pane to to change the order of slide from one position to another in the slide pane following steps are needed select the thumbnail of the slide that you want to move drag the slide to a new location A small box appears between the slide as you drag the mouse pointer. When the box reaches to the desired location, release the left mouse button. The slide appear at a new location. Rearranging slides in the slide sorter view. Click on the slide sorter tab present right above the workspace. Select the slide that you want to move. drag the selected slide to a new location a small box appears between the slides as you drag the mouse pointer release the left mouse button as the small box appears at the desired location the slide appears at the new location using the font work gallery the font work gallery helps you to create special text effects in the presentation it gives a unique look to the text using the font work gallery feature we can make the text curved wavy shadowed or apply 3d effects also click on the font work gallery icon present on the drawing toolbar the font work gallery box appears choose the desired font work style and click on okay the selected text style appears on the works place double click on the font work style to change the text let us change the text to impress after typing the text click anywhere in the blank area of the workspace you will find the output as per the selected font work style 
As you insert a font work in your presentation, the floating font work toolbar appears on the workspace. Using this toolbar, you can apply various effects to the font work. Inserting shapes in a slide. Shapes is a drawing feature that helps in the drawing different shapes into presentation. Shapes can be resized, rotated and flipped. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down arrow of symbol shapes icon. Select the cloud shape. The pointer shapes to plus sign. Place the pointer on the slide and drag it to adjust the size. Likewise, insert the sun shape. Right click on the shape and select the text option from the context menu. The text dialog box will open. Select the text tab and define the required setting and click OK. Double click on the shape. The insertion point appears in the shape. Now type the text. You can also insert the text in a shape by simply double clicking on it. You can also apply animations effect on the text by selecting the text animation tab in the text dialog box and selecting the required settings. Rotating a picture, shape, text or an object. Click the picture, shape, font work or text box that you want to rotate. Bring the pointer over the rotate icon present on the line and filing toolbar. The, rising, the resizing handles change into rotation handles with the default pivot point. Move the pointer to any of the corners handle. The pointer changes to a rotate symbol. Click and drag the handle to rotate the objects as required. Right click on the object. Select position and size options from the context menu. The position and size dialog box appears. Click on the rotation tab. Set the position of pivot point and rotation angle in their corresponding spin boxes. Click OK. Resizing a picture, shape or object. Resizing stretches or shrinks the dimension of an object. To increase or decrease the size of object, select the object. Bring the pointer to any of the eight resizing, resizing handles on the selected object. When the pointer changes to a double-headed arrow, drag the handle inward to decrease and outward to increase the shape of size. If you want to resize the object uniformly, then hold down the Control Shift key while dragging the resizing handle using shadow effects. In addition to adding texture and colors, you can apply shadow effects to any shape. It will make the shapes impressive in appearance. Select any shape object. Click on the Format menu. Select the area options from the drop down menu. The area dialog box appears. Select the shadow tab. Click on the use shadow checkbox in the properties section. Define the distance between the object and its shadow, color and transparency in their corresponding text boxes. Click OK. The object will appear with a shadow. To apply 3D effect to an object in LibreOffice Impress, use the ex extension on off button in the drawing toolbar. Now the recap. Slide layout refers to the way things are arranged on the slide. The layout can be modified either in the normal view or the slide sorter view. Control P key combination is used to print the slides of presentation. Text box is a placeholder where you can enter and manipulate text. The slides can be rearranged in slide span of normal view and in the slide sorter view. Font work gallery helps you to create special text effect in a presentation. Shapes is a drawing feature that helps in drawing different shapes into a presentation. Resizing stretches or shrinks the dimension of an object.
this comes to the end of chapter 8 of class 5 i know the visual is not so clear i am sorry about that but please listen the whole chapter carefully you will understand i am sure thank you so much for all the support and all the blessings you are sending thank you so much love love